Thanks a lot for staying with us. You're watching TVC Breakfast. Earlier on in the show, we told you about the pedestrian bridge at the Alakwere Estate, the K2 axis of Lagos collapsing after a collision uh, brought on by a yet-to-be-identified truck. And we understand that the incident occurred around 12 a.m. this Friday morning and saw the truck ramming into the bridge. Currently, or for the past couple of minutes and even longer than that, emergency responders have been uh, battling to clear off the debris and, uh, you know, work as fast as possible to ensure regular vehicular traffic and other activities uh, resume uh, as soon as possible. And our crew there has also been on that axis to observe things for themselves and you know there's they've been dropping uh, some updates now we can now connect with uh, tvc news correspondent sarah ayeku who is standing by for us uh, sarah if you can hear me i i expect i reckon that there will be so much noise but you know tell us the latest at at this time earlier on you sent a report that um responders we're on that stretch, uh, trying to, you know, restore uh, sanity, so to speak, and regular vehicular activities. What's the status now? All right, so just before I go on to talk about the re resultant Im impact that this particular incident would cause, if you take a look at what's going on here, this is the Alakwara pedestrian bridge that was affected by the incident that happened at about 11.08 p.m. That's on Thursday night. Uh, emergency response, as I understand, came at about midnight to see how they can clear uh, the container, which I understand is about 5.2 feet container, uh, we just saw the container move a couple of uh, minutes ago, about 20 minutes ago. They were just able to uh, clear the road for commuters and road users to use. But let me quickly bring on the special advisor to the governor, that's Governor Babajide Sonwolu, who has been here since midnight to explain to us what he has seen. Uh, so uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you've been here since 12 midnight, at about 12.08 when this incident happened. Uh, talk to us about what happened and what the... Um, a government is doing to ensure that this bridge is brought back as soon as possible. So thank you very much. So basically what happened was around uh, 11.08 yesterday we got a call that a truck hit the bridge going towards Alausa and the whole road was blocked. So of course what we do, what we need to do, we got cranes, we got all the equipment we needed to do and then we've been able to clear the road. So basically, as it is right now, as you can see, a portion of the bridge is off now. And that means that we are not even sure of the integrity of the former, of the other side of the bridge. So, Ministry of Works and Infrastructure will be here right now to come and conduct an integrity test on it. However, we've been able to open the road for Lagosian because we know that the man hour lost is, is unquantifiable. So, at least we've been able to pre to, uh, to prevent that from happening. So the road is free, people are moving about. However, the safety of the bridge will have to ensure it by carrying out an integrity test on it. So in a few minutes, I'm sure, people, uh, our people from the Ministry of Works and Infrastructure will be here to carry out the integrity test. It's pretty mind-boggling to see, when, especially when we saw the video and pictures last night about a container, a 5.2 feet container, hitting the bridge. Uh, this has not happened before uh, on this stretch. How come this truck driver used this particular stretch of the road? Are there sanctions for people, that's recalcitrant drivers, who use this stretch of the so road? So really, this is the way for them to go through. This is their normal route out of Lagos. However, what happens, there were actually about 12 of them, but this particular one, I do not know what happened. 10 of them have actually moved away. So it was the 11th one that actually hit the bridge. So whatever caused that, we do not know. The driver is already in the custody of the police there, and where we are taking custody of the, of the truck itself. So whatever it is, we'll, however, for us, the most important thing is that Lagosians move about easily, in Lagos. I think that's the most important for us. That at least people can go to their work. Come. However, from what you can see, with this bridge off now, so we have to start sorry, please, stopping people for them to cross the, the main bridge. And this will definitely lead to traffic congestion. So I want to use this opportunity to just beg Lagosians to please take it easy on the road. They should be cautious on this road. As you can see, we've not even been able to clear this. But we cannot hold the traffic much longer 
So we, we are employing Lagosians to apply this road with caution till we, be, we, we are able to fix it. On the road, no casualty. no casualty at all. So, luckily, it happened when there was no one around. There was no casualty. He actually, there was another boss that was involved, but no one was actually wounded. Luckily for us, and we thank God for that. All right, so, Kemi, you've just heard from the special advisor to the governor on transportation, you know, highlighting and giving us a rundown of what they've been doing since last night when you talk about emergency responders. So, from what you see now, commuters, road users are using the road, but the most difficult part of this particular incident is the fact that residents of Alakwere and adjoining areas would have to uh, use, uh, that cannot longer use the pedestrian bridge. Uh, traffic uh, officers are stopping traffic to ensure that you have people cross the road first and then they now uh, allow uh, traffic to move on. Uh, this is also happening on the other side of the road. Uh, the special advisor had of course highlighted that a con a, an integrity test will be conducted on this particular section of the bridge as no one can use the bridge right now. Kemi. Right, and well, it's, uh, it's good news, at least for you know, many residents who would want to go on to the third mainland bridge who had already had fears uh, that uh, they wouldn't be able to make that trip in, in, you know, in the regular time. But some concerns linger now that that access you know, has been cleared and you know, we are seeing vehicles pass. Uh, he also said, the SA said that um, he advised motorists to use that access with caution. But, but I was wondering um, what the assurances are, if, if it is indeed very safe for you know, cars, vehicles to still pass. As we can see, a portion or half of the pedestrian bridge has, has been cut off. What's the assurance that that place is even safe as we speak? Oh, that's, where, that's where the problem is. That's the concern. When I was coming here this morning, you had um, last month officials tell me not to use the bridge. Like, I should stay away from the bridge, try and use the, um, the lay about, the lay by to access um, the road. Uh, but uh, the major concern now is either we're expecting that any time from now when the integrity test is done, either the government demolishes the other section of the bridge or they um, give us their verdict on the bridge. So for now, we cannot ascertain if the bridge is safe, if it's safe enough to use another bridge. But then they're still advising motorists to try and use the alternative routes. Alternative routes, we're talking about using the Korodu Road instead of uh, using the Alakbare, um, um, that's the Korodu. You can use the Korodu out if you want to um, get to Ekpe and all of that areas. You can also use the Korodu Road. You can also go use Ogudu um, to access the third mainland bridge. But for now, uh, they are not giving us any kind of assurance. All they have just told us is that an integrity test will be conducted on the other section of the bridge. And then from then on, we will know what the government will do about this particular pedestrian bridge because it's very important. We've been seeing children with their mothers, with their parents and people going to work use this section of the road and it's been very difficult. The median is pretty high, uh, not really convenient for people using, people that want to cross over. You can see just over there, an old woman with the last more officials, you know. That's how difficult it is using the median to um, cross this particular section of the road. So uh, that's going to be the bane of the pro that's going to be the problem now. How do you get uh, residents, that's those who are living in Alakbare and um, its environs, cross this road safely uh, so what the government is trying to do is stop vehicles allow people use uh, the road and then pass on uh, their other vehicles but we're hoping that this would indeed ensure um, safety safety will be um, um, put in place to ensure that we do not lose lives in this process absolutely sarah Yeku, thanks a lot uh, for the updates from your end we'll get back uh, to you for more updates but from what we know now the uh, pedestrian bridge has you know is now uh, is not safe for use of course uh, pedestrians are you know being um, you know aided to cross the expressway but cars vehicles can now move freely however motorists have been advised to use that stretch of the Alakwara area with caution uh, pending an integrity test that will be conducted on the remaining half of the pedestrian bridge. 